Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering the topic known as object constructors, which are a special type of object method. We're going to go over what actually an object constructor is. Uh, we're going to talk about how to define constructors within uh, your class definitions. We're going to talk about how to specify arguments to constructors, and then just go over some important notes as they relate to um, using constructors in PHP. So basically in, um, a, in object oriented uh, programming a constructor is a special object method that's called every time um, you create a new instance of an object. So for example if we go back to our typical person class every time we create a new instance of our person class using this new keyword um, the a special object method for the person class called a constructor gets executed um, and it's done so automatically uh, by PHP um, it's a special kind of method you don't actually have to define one but if you do which is what we're going to go over in this course um, it has to have this special name here and that's known as uh, um, constructors in PHP 5 which is the version we're working with um, are known as magic methods and Basically, that means they have some special meaning to PHP. In this case, it means it's something PHP knows to call automatically. Um, and anytime you see a method with two uh, underscores before the name of it, uh, that's reserved as a magic method. And we'll talk more about that in a, a future lesson about what magic, magic methods are. So for example, let's take a look at uh, person.php. Um, basically, um, and we're going to go more into the details in a second, um, this is a construct, this is a object method that's a constructor um, for this person object. It's defined just as you would any other method except it has to have this special name. It has to have this name, two underscores followed by the word construct and then parentheses. And just to sort of show you that this is something I inside our constructor it doesn't do anything. It's a function that can do anything, pretty much anything other functions can do. Um, we're just going to echo a statement that says we're inside this person constructor so we know that this method's being executed because we never actually call this um, construct the construct method um, directly. So to sort of let you know what's going on behind the scenes, we're going to demonstrate that. Um, and all we're going to do is in uh, this simple constructor.php script, we're going to uh, just instantiate a new instance of this person class. Now because we've defined a constructor for it, PHP is automatically going to run that constructor every time this uh, new keyword defines a new instance of the class. And because that constructor is going to get uh, run, it's going to output the message. So if we actually go back, or if we go and look at um, this script, simpleconstructor.php, we can see that it outputs the message inside person constructor. So even though we never actually explicitly called, for example, person underscore construct like we would uh, another object method, um, it actually gets done every time uh, this sort of new statement is executed. So um, constructors can be defined just like any other object method. As we mentioned, they have to have this specific name here um, to be called automatically. Uh, one thing they can't do is they can't return a value. Um, but as far as uh, methods go, they can do the same thing pretty much as other object methods and functions can do. They can accept parameters um, and they can perform operations within them. Typically, a, a constructor is used to perform uh, initialization, initializ initialization tasks uh, that need to be done before an object is ready to use. So for example, um, when you have properties uh, defined in a particular object, because that constructor gets called every time um, uh, the object is, a new instance of that object is created, you can use that as an opportunity to set default values for your properties or to uh, maybe perform some other advanced functionality that you might need to do um, before a user can really uh, use that object. Uh, so if we take a look at a new version of person.php, which again just has a first name and last name um, property, and here we've defined a constructor using, or the constructor. Um, it takes no arguments, and we'll talk about ones that can take arguments in a second. And basically what this method, what this 
object method, this constructor does, is it actually initializes our first name and last name variables uh, just so that they have default values. It's just going to initialize them to the empty string. So at least that way, PHP, if someone uh, calls new person and then tries to access these variables, um, it'll at least return a string, in this case, the empty string, because uh, you know a user of the person class will be ex expecting a string to be returned. If you'll notice again, uh, as we've done in our other object methods, to access an object's properties from within an object method, which a constructor is, uh, you use the this uh, special variable. So if we go to our uh, script called no arg constructor, uh, basically what it does is it instantiates a new person class, um, and we don't do anything else with that person. We don't set any value, any variables, set any values of any variables or anything like that. We don't. We're not making any statements like this. All we're doing is calling the, uh, is instantiating the class, and by default that's, it, that's automatically going to call that default constructor. And then what we're going to do is, uh, down here, we're going to try and output um, those variables. Uh, there are those object properties, first name and last name. Um, now because this constructor has been called, they actually get set with default variables, empty string. So basically, I just have a little test that we created down here. Um, that test uh, if uh, if person if the person's object uh, if the this instance of the person object's first name is equal to null, which means it hasn't been initialized because that's the default sort of initialization value for for variables in PHP, um, then it's going to return the value of uh, first name. Uh, now what it's going to do, and this is a ternary operator, and it's going to set first, this first name variable equal to that um, first name value. So in this example. Um, first name actually has set a variable. Uh, it's set to the empty string. It doesn't. It's not actually a string that has anything, but it is uh, set to a string, uh, so it's not null. And otherwise, it's, this is going to return the string null. So when we output first name, if uh, first name hasn't been initialized, it's going to output null. If it has been, which we know it has from our constructor, it's going to output the empty string. And we do the same thing down here for our last name. So if we actually go and uh, load this script in our browser noarg constructor.php, uh, we can see that when it tried to output first name and last name, it actually output uh, the empty string. Um, and so that means that the values weren't equal to null. Let's say instead that in our constructor, we didn't initialize, for example, the last name variable. Let's say we just remove that. So only we initialize first name. Uh, because of that, last name is never going to be initialized. It's not going to be a string. It's going to be set equal to null when we run our script. We're going to see last name, and it's going to output the value null. Uh, and so that shows uh, that uh, you, you know using a constructor to initialize variables. And, and pretty much that's what you're always going to want to do with your constructor. You always want to give, um, for various number of reasons, you want to give uh, default values to uh, um, all of a, an object's properties. And the way place you do that, or the main place you do that, is within the constructor. And we're actually going to see a little bit more about that um, on our next slide.